Oh, hey, everybody. How's it going? Welcome back to The Freak Show. It is your host, Devin Eisert. And again, Morgan, thanks for coming by. Yeah, thanks for having me. So, first and foremost, why are you dressed as a lumberjack? Damn. <laughs> that's crazy. Um, actually, funny story. Like, a couple hours ago, like 6 a.m., did you hear that chainsaw in the neighborhood? Yeah, I was pissed because I was like, who... Who is doing this so early? That was me. <laughs> yeah. I, I was actually chopping down a tree in the back, and I was just, Wah! <laughs> I looked on the Facebook, like, neighborhood community page, and everyone's like, yo, who the fuck is that? I was just like, I would comment on there. It's like, yeah, who the fuck woke me up so early? Yeah, you woke me up, and I was very angry. Was it me? So, so, mm -hmm. so thank, <laughs> thanks for that. Hey, I got some firewood for you, though, so when you leave, take some with you. Well, it's a little hot for that. All right, but, sure. you know, we could save it for the winter, maybe. Yeah. Okay. All right. Everybody loved the first podcast talking about the dating, and they want to know more. So what's better to talk about than online dating? So mm -hmm. I'm on a couple of the apps. You're on a couple of the apps. Whenever I see you, I just swipe right, and then I say some <laughs> bullshit, and then I just text you like, yo, was that pickup line pretty good? And you'd be like, fuck no. You're an idiot. Yeah, you used that one last time probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so do you have any, like, which one of – so the, the like the main dating apps is your favorite. I would say probably Bumble is my favorite. The only downfall, I guess, would be we have to message first. Oh, the females have to make a move. Yes. Yeah, that's right. I I love that one because no, I, I don't gotta say shit. <laughs> yeah. I hate it though, but I like it because I feel like there's you know with Hinge, the profile to me is kind of like all over the place. But with Bumble, I like it because it's very straightforward and, like, on that first, I guess, section of your the page, I guess, if that makes sense. Yeah, it can make sense. Um, so I like that one. Um, to me, it's just kind of, like, very straightforward. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I guess Bumble would be my favorite one. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite? Shit. I, I like the Facebook dating one. I'm just kidding. I fucking hate that one because I'd be matching with people like three states over because I put that shit for 40 miles. <laughs> Facebook's like, let's triple it and give it to them and see who's in like South Dakota that wants to meet them. Like, I'm just like, dude, that's so far away. It's fucking insane. But I feel like Bumble's the same way though. Like, I'll put like 40, 50 miles and I'm getting people from like Tallahassee, Florida. Like, oh, yeah. And I'm I'll, like, where'd yeah. you come from? What, why are you? And they'll, be, and they'll be like, oh, we can just be pen pals. That's not why we're on here. Speaking of pen pals, <laughs> I got a good question for you. Okay. All right. Don't you love it when you're actually like, you match with somebody, right? Mm -hmm. So the first thing you need to do, well, what I do is I read everything top to bottom, right? You're one of a kind there because nobody does that, apparently, anyways. Yeah, so I read everything, and then I look out for key things like, do you smoke? Do you do drugs? And I, like, I scroll all the way to the bottom Same. like, oh, shit, I just match with a man that looks like a woman. <laughs> like, you know, like. You really got to watch out these days. But, like, after I do my investigation and I'll swipe and then I'll, like, hopefully get a match and then I'll just be like, ding, I get it. Either one or two things because it's going to happen, right? I'm going to look at it and just be like, ah, whatever. But then it's like, oh, zoinks. Like, I'm, I send a message right away, you know what I mean? Oh. But here's the catch, though. The replies these days, I got I to gotta ask you how it is on the guy's side. But oh. for the female side, it literally feels like I'm texting back in, like, the 1700s but even though texting wasn't it wasn't a thing it's like literally i have to like hand walk a mail like hand walk mail to somebody walk back home and then wait for like a reply like three to five business days later it's like literally insane does that still happen to you on your side it's about the same yeah um or it's like very cut and dry like hi or like <laughs> hi <laughs> or you have pretty eyes i was like dang and then that's it. And then it's like, what's up? And then you'll be like, you know, whatever you're doing. And they'll be like, oh, okay. And that's it. Like, that's it. Oh, like, oh, like, oh, okay. And then like a period. Yeah, and that's it. Not even like a gif or like a meme nothing. or nothing. Damn, dog. No emoji, nothing. Just, oh, okay. Or that's cool. Like, okay. Do they spell it with a K ever? Yes. <laughs> I'm like, oh, immediate unmatch. Block. Yeah. Go straight to jail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I feel like there's a specific like pattern going on with the online dating thing. Because I've been on there. I've been on and off for a little bit, and it's just like 
nothing gets me more angry than just getting hardcore ghosted out of nowhere, right? Yep. It's like you match, we're having great conversation. It's like, you know, coming from me, I'm a great like conversationalist, I would think at some sort of level compared to the other guy. And everything's going great, you know, it's like, yo, here's my number, and then, like, I give a quick call when I'm driving or something, you know, just be like, oh, hey, how's it going? Like, Ooh, I love that. Nobody does that. Really? Yeah. Well, damn, dog, you'd be, you'd be out there matching with bozos. I mean, it is Columbus, Georgia. I hate Columbus, Georgia. Y'all have, y'all have driven me <laughs> to stop gaming to do podcasts on how shitty it is here, so... If you're moving to Columbus, Georgia, or if you live in the Columbus, Georgia area, make sure to drop a comment, tell us a story, and we'll actually broadcast it out. We got you covered. <laughs> Morgan and I, we will cover you on this. <laughs> yes. Which, which, speaking of, your one of your friends actually watched the first video, mm -hmm. and she actually got um, inspired, and she was just like, yo, I need to actually jump on this, and I need to tell a story. Oh, she definitely needs to. She definitely has... Um a story that everybody needs to hear here. Hey, it's, stay tuned for an amazing story coming up. Yes. I'm actually looking forward to that. It's going to be probably the best one, maybe. I, I mean, you getting chased out of a bar, like getting, running down downtown Columbus, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. But I guess also, so another thing that really bothers me is the people, like, obviously everyone is on one of those apps for some kind of reason. But another thing that really bothers me is the people that match but never talk. Like, again, um, Bumble, the women have to message first. Yeah. So, like, you'll message them or, you know, say whatever pickup line, and either they won't message back or, they'll again, they'll match and just expire. I, I don't know. Like That's I, just a power play. But, like, why? What about all the guys that are just coming down here just for, like, a school or something, and they're only here for a month? When do you find out? Do you find out when you actually meet up, or do they tell you right away, or are they just being super shady about it all? I've had probably best of both worlds. Hmm. Explain. Some, some will tell me up front and be like, hey, I'm here for two weeks. I'm just looking the fuck. <laughs> We've all been there. Or they'll be like, We'll meet, like, conversations will be going good, and then we meet up, and then, like, you're kind of, like, vibing, and then, like, you know, whatever, and then they'll be like, oh, by the way, I'm, I have three more days here. Yeah. Oh, by the way, my uh, you can't come to my graduation because my wife and kids are coming, so yeah, stay off of base. Yeah. yeah. And then they're, like, moving, like, to, like, Europe or something <laughs> far away. Yeah. So di distance is not an option. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, um, I always get so... You know what really grinds my gear about Tinder is all those damn bots, right? So I can identify pictures that are bots and immediately swipe. You know what I mean? So I'm not sure about if there's guy bots, but there's girl bots. I don't get on and Tinder. It's, and it's just like you're looking at the picture and you're like, that looks fake as fuck. And then you, you know, swipe. But then sometimes if you're just going on the power surge and you just... Mm -hmm. And then it's like, ding, match. And like two seconds later, you get like, boom, add me on Snapchat. And was like, you bastard bitch, you got me, <laughs> son of a bitch. Well, I've had even people be like, hey, you need to FaceTime me right now because I know you're fake. And I'm like, mm, I'm not fake. And they'll be like, there's no way you're real. So you're going to FaceTime me or I'm going to block you. Dang. You, what do you do? You're just like, Psh. you block them first? It just, probably, because what? No, yeah. You got to FaceTime me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of FaceTime in, have you ever been have you ever been catfished out here? Oh yeah. Oh, I love a good catfish story. Twice. You tell yours and then I'll tell one of mine. Twice. Really? Not once, but twice. So, you know, like episode one, I talked about meeting someone at the loft. Well yeah. the catfish story goes back to the loft. So I guess it's just not meant to be for me to hang out there. Stay away from the loft on first dates, people. <laughs> So I was supposed, well, you know, not everyone is, like, photogenic. So some people, like, may look good in pictures, but then they're, like, kind of, like, mm, not the same. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah, like, like yeah. you know, whatever. So I was, like, I had a gut feeling something wasn't right about the profile anyways. But, again, I was trying to yeah. give it the benefit of the doubt, which never again. <laughs> I'll actually drink to that, but carry on. Um, 
<clears throat> so we had made plans to have dinner at the loft, and um, he was like, "Can I pick you up?" And I'm like, mm, "Like, I don't really like that the first time because like scary. I don't know you, and like." I, and then imagine I don't getting. Want, like, I don't. I don't want it to like go horrible and you have my address. I, I don't know. So I don't do that. Just imagine being stuck in there listening to his like mixtape or something. Yeah. Like, oh, mm. fuck. That'd be terrible. Ew, that's horrible. But anyway, so I was like, no, like I'll just meet you there. And he's like, okay, 730 at the loft. And I'm like, okay, got you. I'll be there. Um, so I, I go the first time, you know, ever, maybe the second time, I get a parking spot pretty close. Nice. Oh, so you're not – Quarter mile down the road or half a mile. Oh, but I am any other day. Like when I actually like need to go down there for something, I, I gotta park four miles away. Yeah. But um he's like, Okay, so I'm gonna wait on you right by the hostess stand when you walk in. He's like, I'm in a red shirt. And I'm like, I kinda thought that was weird because like how old are we? I don't know that we still say what color shirt we're wearing when we meet somebody. I don't know, maybe 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 that's a thing still. I mean when I go out I'll wear uh red and white striped long sleeves. So it's like where's Waldo? So it's uh, like of course you would. Yeah, it's always but, fun. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I park and I start walking up to the loft. Well, this was a guy that like portrayed to be like six foot tall, Ooh, super fit, nice. into CrossFit because he talked about always going to the CrossFit gym after work. Mm. Like, I can see where this is going. Yeah, so I go, I walk in. Literally, there's two people standing at the hostess stand. One is a female and one's a guy. But they weren't like together. They were just kind of like standing near each other. Yeah. Yeah, the guy was like 450 pounds. What did his pictures look like? He was like 190? Like that must 90? have been back in the day when before his like midlife crisis came or Jesus. something. But <laughs> um, yeah. So I was like I mean, what do you do? I don't know. Like, did he just like Grab a smoke grenade, like. I literally <laughs> looked at him and turned around and walked off and left. And he got blocked real quick. Because, I mean, like, people are going to find out. Yeah. Especially if you're going to try to meet someone in person. Do you just think I'm not going to know? Or, like. Just be upfront about everything on the dating apps. Because then now people like us are <laughs> scarred for life. <laughs> Meeting people in the public. And now I'm actually scared to go to the loft meeting anybody down there. I'm just going to stay like, there's going to be a five mile like buffer zone around downtown. Like, I can't meet down there now because it's just like, it's just, it's just bad luck. Literally. But guaranteed, if I lived in Auburn, it would just be a completely different story. Yeah. I don't know. So, have you gotten catfish? Shit. I've got, I think I've actually done a few catfishing stories before. Or well, not stories, but I think I've catfished a few. Um, what, you've catfished? Somebody? Or are they? Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Well, I'm trying to think which one. Which one do you want to hear? Um, I was gonna say all of them, but all of them. Okay. That's, that's for later. Um, um. So okay, I I did get catfished. I'll do the. I'll, I'll do a short one. Um. I matched. I matched on Hinge with this girl, and this girl said it was she was six five. Huh? Yeah. So six. Yeah. She was tall, and I thought it was a typo. Like I, I said something about her height. It's like oh six five. That's pretty tall. And she's like yeah. LOL, and then she said something like quick, and then it totally like like went over my head, right? Um, like her picture, she didn't look tall, and then when I met her, she was tall as fuck, and I'm just like, oh shit, you are 6'5". I thought that was a typo. I thought you meant 5'5". Five five. Oh my god. And then I was just like, yeah, I feel really short next to you. I'm gonna dip out, but that wasn't really a catfish. That was just me like looking at the information and be like, eh, I think it was a typo. So she was actually six five, and I just felt like an idiot standing next to her. And but she like, did like look like her pictures. Yeah, she looked hundred percent like her pictures, and mm-hmm. I was just short as shit. And she was just like <laughs> hanging. She like the second that we were just hanging out at the bar, and she put her fucking goddamn arm on my sh- like oh, shoulder awkward. here. I was like, I was like, son of a bitch, you got me fucked up. So I just like, no. I mean, we like talking and hung out for a little bit, but then I like had to leave because like she was tall as shit, dude. God, I, I should have taken a picture. You'd been like, damn, you you look short as shit. And then I'm I'm five ten solid, and it's like. It's all these girls that are like five foot two that are like, I want my man to be six foot five and shit. It's like, I don't see how. Like, I, mean, I like a tall man, but not that extreme. That was yeah, she was tall as fuck. I don't want to have to like break my neck to look at you. Yeah, and I actually did get catfish. This was a while ago. Um, 
don't know. She just did not look like her pictures, you know what I mean? So, like, I keep all my pictures within, like, the last, like, you know, one to two months oh. within, like, as, like, I keep my pictures as, like, as new as I can just because, like, my body will fluctuate depending with, you know, working out, work, or if I have a personal injury. It's like when I busted my ankle. <laughs> I, fucking, sorry, I, I blew up like a balloon. It was fucking terrible. I couldn't walk. Did you, like, it's... slip on the elephant ear that's outside? No, I was running, and uh, I sprained my ankle. Obviously, we're paying attention. Yeah. But anyways. Um, but there's been just a couple times where it's just I met up with girls, and they just use, like, old photos in the past. It's like, damn, dog, just use your normal pictures now. You know what I mean? Because I feel like there's somebody for everybody. There is. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, certain people like a certain style, and I think it's just... We just have to keep on looking until we find what we want. You know what I mean? Because I don't, I don't body shame. I don't care like what your sexual orientation is or what your political beliefs are. It's just like, I'm, you gotta find that twin flame in mm-hmm. someone. What? <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta Look like, you. you just gotta <laughs> find that person that you want to get to know and grow with. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Well, but I, I just. Hate getting catfished because it, it's it just makes every single meeting up completely like completely you're like, like horrible. Hesitant. I'm, oh yeah. All, he, he, when I meet somebody, I'm like, okay, like is this gonna be another catfish story? Yeah, and I feel like you know even like even after all the video calls and the FaceTiming, that it's still that scary thing. Like meeting I'm, that like that first meet is just terrible. Like no matter what you do, and then. You know, being like shy, awkward, and everything. Like the first time meeting somebody, it's that's gonna stick. And like, you're not gonna be completely open and be like, "Oh, I'm a kind of my love signs, physical touch." But I'm not gonna be like groping you the first time I see you. You know what I mean? I'm gonna keep mm-hmm. my distance. You gotta be a gentleman. You gotta act like a lady. You know what I mean? And it's just like I'm glad you think that because again, not everyone does that around here. Oh, I've heard some stories from you which we can't talk about on here, but yeah, that's true. maybe yeah. that could be a later <laughs> episode. <laughs> Yes. I'm keeping tallies on you, Morgan. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but that is it for episode two. I really appreciate y'all. And um, thank you for being so supportive. And remember, drop a like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Cheers. How was that, actually? It's huh? really good. It's actually really good? Okay, yes. I was kind of scared. Like, you were looking at me fucked up when I was trying to No, it down. tastes like a watermelon slushy. Slushy without the ice. Okay, you're right. Uh-huh. <laughs>